Hey guys, welcome back to another video in Pilot Hack Security. In particular, we're going to be talking about how to find RCE in a real life situation. So, what's RCE? RCE is simply uh, stands for Remote Code Execution. So, it's kind of a ability whereby an attacker is able to perform system commands in the target website is hacking. System commands, if you don't know, is just you navigating through the system like um, the LS command, listing files um, in Linux, DIR in Windows. I'm creating files, delete files, do whatever he wants in the system. So this um, vulnerability is very, very dangerous and it's one of the most deadliest vulnerability. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to find this, what is it, what it's like when you hit that subscribe button. Keep watching this video, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, guys, this is the website we are going to be testing on to find this vulnerability, which is RCE. Okay. So this website is a vulnerable web application. You can also use this, go and test the particular vulnerability on this site. You are allowed a free source to everyone. Okay. So if you are actually hacking on the site, like I always said in my videos, you have to click on every page, every button you find on the website. Okay. So let me open some of the page to see how the site interacts with a user. Okay. So I'm going to be clicking on some buttons open some pages and observe what is happening okay i i have opened some so let me start clicking um to observe okay we have some kind of uh right up here with some images and we see the url so if you are always hacking you have to be looking out for a url which is very very important for a petition tester or a bug bounty hunters in hack or hacking in general okay so we find out that um this particular um this is the website here and it's having a directory which is index.php that so we now know that this site is being hosted by apache some kind of php configuration and we have this page parameter and call it which is sorry at this main.html so what's actually we find um the source here we are viewing is from this main.html so um, let's go to another um, page and observe. So you see we have some kind of the same format which is the website, the directory, the page uh, parameter is equal to map.html. So what we are actually doing is under this um, this code here which is map.html. So let's click on other pages and all is the same. So we now know that this page parameter is calling out all these codes in the back end before it's being displayed to us right here. So I'm going to be closing them since we understand the flow of this website now. So how about if we um, remove this particular main.html to see what the website is going to be viewing on the page. So let me hit enter without showing anything. You see we have, we still have the default um, page. So let's try uh, what a hacker will do right now. So let's say try a dummy um, file path that we know is not does not exist. Okay. So let me just type in let's say um, planet hacks security like this. Planet hacks security. Dot, let's say html since we know all the extension of html html is all happen. okay we have a blank page so i'll the blank page let's open let's view the pictures to see what actually happened nothing much here and we're going to close this back so now we now know that uh, by putting out um a dummy page we, like a a page that does not exist it actually will tell us that is, uh, we are going to have an empty page right here okay so for this particular vulnerability which is rce we are going to i'm going, I'm going to introduce you to a website which is called jumb.in so this website what it does is it serves as a web collaborator which if you don't know what collaborator actually means you are into hacking um uh, it serves as some kind of um website for us okay so if we supply it to any uh, site we are hacking on and the site actually try to connect to it so there's what they call dns callback so if the site actually try to connect to this our website say this is http um the column slash slash pmg dot in and so on 
if the site starts to make requests on this particular site, you are going to have a ping right here. You see, we are actually waiting for a ping. So if you already know what it means and you have both collaborator, you can actually use your both collaborator for the particular um, instead of this tool. Okay, but I will be using this tool right here. So I'm going to use this my tool here, this website, and put it on this particular page. Okay, I have this page here. So what will happen right here is this um uh, this is the website the index of PHP and this page parameter want to see sorry about that I mistakenly dragged it so want to see if this page parameter will try and make requests to the Bob collaborator this ping this website now if it's going to make requests what let's see it for before I move further okay so let's click enter and see what will happen we actually have a dummy page okay. Well, let's go to back to our ping view website and you see we have a callback that means this particular site which is the, this is the IP address and this is the port number is trying to make requests to this our ping view website so we now know that um, this site um, this our this site you're hacking on is making requests to this um, our website we put here so what a hacker will do is this the a hacker will think of creating a website of its own and hosting a malware some kind of payload so that maybe by the time this particular site you're hacking on this site you're hacking on right now um, try to make a um, request to it and execute the command he sets on the directory so you might be able to get remote code execution by that or maybe you put in some kind of xss payload or also uh, um, so on okay so let's since in this particular video, I'm going to be introducing it to another tool which is called Pastebin. Okay, so Pastebin like this dot com. So what this Pastebin will do is this: it's going to help us host a payload on this Pastebin URL. Okay, so by the time we type in our command, our our payload right here, and actually we are going to now create a new paste. By creating this new paste, we are going to be hosting the code we put right on this place. Okay, so I hope you understand what this place will do for us. And so what we have to do now is to type in um, a simple PHP payload. Okay, so I'm going to hit um, type in real quick and you guys can follow up. Let me zoom in so maybe you, can, you, will, you will see the screen clearly. Okay, so I'm going to type in, let me cancel all these notifications I'm having right here okay so i'm going to do system and in brackets dollar sign underscore get so Okay, so this is a simple um, PHP um, command payload. So you see, we are calling out the system right here and for it to get um, a command prompt for us. Okay, so in this particular CMD I put in here, you can actually put in whatever you like. So I'm using the CMD right here, which stands for command. Okay, I'm going to now create a new paste. So I'm going to click on create new paste. All right. And you see, uh, we already we have created a new paste. So I'm going to now come and click on raw. Okay, let me click on, you click on this raw right here. And you see that you open as in a new tab for us. So you see, we are now hosting this particular um, PHP payload here. And on this particular directory, this is the directory it automatically creates this payload for us. Okay, so we are going to copy out this particular but, um, you know, since this particular website now is making requests to um, a web any uh, any input we give here, so since uh, now you all know we tried um, to put in a website a DNS uh, on this particular page and um, page parameter and it make requests to it. So now we are hosting this payload on this particular website, and um, this website help us to um, put in the payload on this directory. So if we if this particular website is going to execute the 
payload they actually created that means you are going to have um a command execution which was called with um this, was like, uh, this particular um project okay so we have to use the and sign after the website you paste in okay so i'm going to type in and and the cmd cmd which is really isn't equal to so if you don't know what the and sign actually mean um it's used to host it's used to um add multiple parameter to the target okay so i'm going to type in let's say the who am i all right who am i to see if you can get the server name okay um nothing actually happened so i actually made an an error who am i oh, i didn't make an error uh what's what's the problem what's the problem Perhaps the problem is this uh thank god i am supposed to close this particular um particular request but i use the instead of the uh semi column i use the column so let me sit um edit this very quickly um so instead of this particular uh, i'm not supposed to use the column the semi column like this um, like this okay i think that's just the mistake i made so we have created the piece and let's go to the raw so you look at the payload right now so you see i use the column instead of the semicolon <coughs> so now i'm going to copy this and come and paste it back here all right okay so now i'm going to now hit enter to see if we can get some name so you see we have the name of this server that means we can actually we can actually start performing some um system commands in this particular page so let me try the ls command to see if we can get the list of files we have so you see we now have the list of files in this particular web page so in this particular file you see we have data.txt server of txt file for both of txt and so on so we may let's see if we can start cutting out all those files so let's cut out data.txt to see and you see we have the file in that the contents in that um data of txt so you can uh, come and you can continue to navigate through the whole system by this particular um this particular vulnerability okay so in my next tutorial i'm going to be making um, a video how to find rce in file upload because most you can also find this type of variability maybe when you try to upload a file like let me see your image some kind of documents to the server so you can host some kind of php payload or some kind of payload in the file you are supposed to upload and get so this uh, vulnerability also so hope you guys enjoyed this video my next tutorial if you actually want to keep learning and keep hacking your way subscribe to the channel and bless you for now it's goodbye